Hobby Tower, Long Easy 316 Delta Bravo, flight at 2, 5 North Carolina. A lot of people don't understand sort of the, the basics of, of hearing and hearing loss. And what we really want to protect for long-term hearing is uh, the intelligibility of speech, which occurs in a lot of the higher frequency things like plosive and frictive consonants. So those would be your P's and your S's and your T's, anything that is moving air. Those are in the higher frequencies and that's something that you really want to protect. So with this, you will need really good passive uh, protection. All headsets have a, a mixture of passive and some have active as well. Um, what passive does is really protect those, those high frequencies and some, to, to, to a certain degree, the low as well. The ability to have a really high quality in-the-ear headset where you're having a perfect passive seal, A&R is no longer necessary. So this is really kind of where I think headsets are going to move in the future. Um, we have the exclusive use of the Comply Canal Tip. Uh, it was originally developed under National Institute of Health grants uh, for maximum hearing protection in very high noise environments. Hobby Tower, Long Easy 316 Delta Bravo, flight at 2, 5 North Carolina. Uh, they're all based on the uh, very simple technology of a band that goes behind the head and then just rests down on the ears like glasses would. You can kind of see it there. And then this is a monodirectional noise canceling mic right in front of the mouth there. Uh, and then the ear tips are really what is going to protect your hearing. So then we've got the speaker in that little housing and the ear tip. You don't you never want to roll them. If you roll them, you can accidentally unscrew them. And we're just going to pinch that down so that it can go into the ear canal and wait and hold as it expands. And everyone's ear canal is a little bit different. It's kind of like a thumbprint. So you may want to use a different size depending on the size of your ear canal. Um, and they come in these sizes, small, medium, and large. So you've got a choice of which size works best for your ear canal. And some people might need you know, one large and one medium. Everyone's a little bit different. All right, to store the headset, what you'll want to do is the curve of the band that was around the back of your head, that's just going to go into the curve of the case, right like so. And that way the mic can be nice and nestled and protected right down in there. And then we can just curl and coil the rest of this cord into the case, however it works best. And then you are all set. You're ready for your next flight. So that's a little bit about how to wear the headset and how to store it. Hobby Tower, Long Easy 316 Delta Bravo, flight at 2. Yeah, we're kind of in the, the middle of the pack in terms of price. Uh, we have four different models. This is the classic headset. And with this, you've got the dual balanced armature uh, speakers right in there, uh, the comply canal tips, and the monodirectional noise canceling Electret mic. And that's for 525. Then we have two TSO certified models. Um, for some airlines, uh, they require now a TSO certified headset. So if you're flying for an airline where that's written into your ops manual, you'll want to go for either the Pro or the Pro Plus. And those are around the $700 mark. And what you'll notice is different from the Classic is that this has a much more robust mic boom. Uh, a lot of our aerobatic pilots really enjoy flying with that because of its uh, increased stability. And you'll get great audio from that mic as well. A lot of performers really enjoy this one. Uh, and then we also have, uh, for uh, people that, that enjoy you know, listening to music, using a cell phone, uh, that kind of thing, you'd want to do the Link, which has the Bluetooth capability. Uh, and that's around the $800 mark. Uh, what this adds in is the Bluetooth capability. So this will have an additional volume control box. Uh, we partnered with Pilot USA to make this. Uh, it's got amazing, amazing ability to get your, uh, your cell phone and even your iPad at the same time paired to this device. So being paired to two things at once can be really convenient. Uh, and this is very user-friendly. It's the same sort of uh, dials that you would see on any modern technology in terms of play and pause, uh, volume up and down, track, skip. Um, there's voice dialing, uh, which is kind of nice. And then you've got the, the cell phone um, uh, connector there. Uh, and then this is just operated by two AA batteries that are stored right back there. Um, and as opposed to other headsets that have the Bluetooth capability, when you lose battery, you don't lose anything except the connection to your devices. Your headset will behave just as it always does. So that's a nice feature. So there's a little bit of something for everyone.